Every time I prepare for a new series, different ideas come to mind, different words that might describe it. Is it creative? Is it controversial? Is it practical? The word that kept coming to mind over the last few weeks and months as we've been ramping up to this series is that this series is important. This series is important. You have heard an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. That's the old commandment. The new commandment is what? Love your enemies. Overcome evil with good. Do good to those who would hurt you. Well, of course, yeah, love your enemies. But certainly, obviously, Jesus did not mean I'm supposed to love Osama bin Laden uh, or Al-Qaeda or people who threaten my family or threaten my way of life or threaten my country. I mean, he doesn't expect us to love that. None of this makes any sense unless we believe in the kingdom of Christ, unless we believe in heaven, unless we believe that life is more than this. If this is all there is to life, then the peace teaching of Jesus is a lie. Church history is pretty ugly. I mean, man, crusades and and uh, you know all the stuff that was done in Jesus' name and uh, slaughtering people, Muslims, other Christians. And I thought that cannot be. <laughs> that, that can't have anything to do with with the the, the true Jesus. I was um, called down to the selective service office, so I went down to the office and I had this interview and it didn't go well. And so the lieutenant turned me over to the colonel, who was in charge of the office, and. Um, I said, what's your problem? And I've committed myself to do what Jesus would do in any given situation, and I just can't imagine Jesus running a bayonet into somebody's guts and cutting them out. He said, you're making it sound ugly. We both laughed at that point. He said, it is ugly, but let's be honest. Only a small minority of the people who ever go into the military will ever have to do anything like that. Could you fly an airplane and drop a bomb? said, uh, when I'm in the airplane and have my hand on the lever and ready to release the bomb, at that moment I'm going to have to ask a very simple question. Jesus, if you were in my place, would you drop this bomb? And he yelled at me and said, that's the dumbest thing I ever heard. Everybody knows that Jesus would never drop a bomb. You start noticing Jesus said stuff that we don't talk about much. And and you know you start seeing this radical incongruity between maybe the stuff you were taught and, and the real Jesus. It's not enough just to craft a theology. It's not enough just to study. It's not enough just to show up. The question is, are you actually living out what he has to say? Nothing clears the room uh, like questioning the righteousness of our military. That's what militarism does. It makes nationalism more important than being a citizen of the kingdom of God. Dying is no longer the worst thing that can happen to us. Not following Christ is the worst thing that can happen to us.